Hi, I'm Lori Dobson. Today's February 16th, 2021. Uh, currently in Ellsworth, Maine. So, nasty day, by the way. I've been doing these videos pretty straightforward, you know, right along regularly for the last year. I'm just coming up on a year here. I think that they're valuable. They stand as a testament to a creeping totalitarian state. My protest before it becomes mute, I'm allowed to speak. Uh, thanks so much for letting me speak with the mouth I was born with, guys. Appreciate it. You know, I, I have to do it in certain places. I can only be, you know, in certain places without having my mouth covered up and muted by the mask. But I have a voice. You have a voice. We all have a means to communicate one way or another. And it's important because it's being taken away from us along with our mental health. And uh, you think I might be exaggerating. I don't see so. I think that because there are so many sacred cows out there that we're not allowed to discuss or talk about, the people are, are tiptoeing around. They're, they're not a, feeling confident in their ability to register communication about what they experience. And one of the main things that uh, they say is mentally healthy is important. Uh, and when you get to therapy, it's what you pay a lot of money to learn how to do. And as you look at your emotions, you look at your experience from a point of view of all of the feelings that you're experiencing, and you find the one that relates to what you are experiencing, and that's what you communicate from. A true communication is when you give your feelings full range and you, full expression and you are able to say what's going on. Now, you can pick and choose. And I certainly can do a constructive job on that in my videos. I've, I've asked for, for feedback and thank you guys. I've been getting it and it's been helpful. Um, I'm going to make some, you know, modifications of my own based on my own decision about what I can do better. And in the end, it's, it's about me. And if I don't make it about my own interests, I'm not interested. I'm, I, I lose passion very quickly for things I'm told I have to do when I don't feel a resonance inside myself or a motivation inside myself. And most people are that way. So let's get truthful about things. You know, if, if we're going to be censored, let's give our truthful response to what that feels like, to what we really think about that. Let's not just be compliant because we think that's just one more thing we have to do. That is the slippery slope to depression and death, guys, in my opinion but I've seen it, you know, they know, they know for a fact that when you discourage people and they lose their motivation and they're restricted in their movements and their thoughts and their inability to, to connect with themselves, their freedoms taken away inside and outside. What is there to live for? What is there to do as a human being that matters? You know, it's in it. That's a state of imprisonment. And yes, you can find things to do in imprisonment. Sure you can, but that's not freedom. That's not truth. That's not reality. That's not the way we need to live, to be fully human, to be able to work with each other. And so I've done my best here to communicate what I really feel out of the full range of my emotions, what I'm really feeling here, what I really feel the urge and the need to say to whoever's listening, to whoever cares. That's what I'm going to be talking about. Now, I don't need to tell you personal things about myself. You know, that's if it's if it's got a point to it, then that's good. If you're you know, you're not just here to, to hear me spout off about every little thing that's going on for me every day, that's obviously true. But I know what's going on for me here is the same as what's going on for so many other people because we're sharing this experience, this entrapment experience, this the sabotage experience, this abandonment and rejection experience by our government that we thought was acting on our behalf. There should be no more illusions on that regard. George Carlin's right. You know, he's right. They don't give a fuck about us. And we're contending with that. Some of us understand it better than others. Some of us are having a hard time accepting it because we put so much energy into changing the system and fighting. And when we realize, we realize there is no two ways about this thing. You know, they're taking us down. And they're taking us down in our mental health, if nothing else. If it's not enough to, you know, radically change our businesses, see... I'm looking at a downtown area, you know, how can people survive? We're talking about people dying. It wasn't enough in 2008 when they tried to get everybody out of their houses, you know, under Obama. Now they're just trying to take people outside of their minds. They're trying to make us crazy, I really think. 
mental health depends on, demands, demands us being able to be honest and not censoring our thoughts and our feelings and our beliefs and our truths. That's, that's how we grow. That's how we learn who we are. That's how we encourage children. You don't encourage a child by telling them everything they can't do. And yet that's how we're trying to talk to people these days. You can't do this. You can't do that. You can't do this. You can't think that. You can't go there. Don't go there. Don't go there. Oh, if you go there, oh my God, you're going to be one of those kinds of people. A conspiracy theorist. Oh God, you can't be one of those. If you're one of those, we won't listen to you. We'll take you off our platform. We'll, we'll take you off our information page. <laughs> Which is what just happened to me, by the way. I was taken off the fake cranberry aisles information page and I haven't even posted anything there. All I did was complain. Well, all right, that's not true, I take it back. I did say something, I questioned something. I said, when G Gary Allen said things like that, when he was referring to, they were gonna make some changes. They weren't gonna be allowing things like that anymore on the islands, right? We have to stop certain things like showing movies that not everybody agrees with. I got censored from the Cranberry House information page just for asking what things like that actually. And when I was told what those things are, that, I, that, that people aren't allowed to have their personal agendas, you know, be on, at, at, you know, at the Cranberry House Historic Society, which I actually agree with to a point. But uh, having said that, I think movies are, you know, if you're going to see a movie, see a movie. If you're not, don't. Right. If you don't like that movie, say you don't like that movie. That's what I do. But to but to make people, but to turn people against people on the island and to to build up hate speech and and all kinds of hateful, spiteful rhetoric and getting people to agree on that they personally hate somebody, hate the president of the Cranberry Isles, great great Cranberry Isles Historic Society. And 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 the and the comments have been flying against him and his wife. It's been horrible calling her unraveled, you know, saying that he's a bad joke. Just shit from people's mouths and, and typing it out and sending it off. It's just great. I mean, that's free speech. It is. It's true. So, but that's been allowed and encouraged on the Cranberry Isles information page. When I said, when, when I was, when, when they were saying that, that personal agendas shouldn't have any place in our communal discussions, and I said, but on the information page is another matter, apparently. That comment got me scrubbed from the great, from the, sorry, the, the Cranberry Isles information page. So it's getting to where it's really censoring here on these islands. I was encouraged to write a comment on the great Cranberry Isles comment page. And, uh, and this morning it was a big brouhaha because I uh, decided to edit my comment to them and send in another one instead. And now they said they've just they're going to keep the page clean. It's not because of me, but from now on they're not going to have any more comments from the public. I'm opening my eyes because it's like seriously, I was asked to give comments when I said, "Are you know where do we put them?" Somebody said on the information page on the uh, Cranberry Isles Historic Society information page. You know, put comments there, but now they're being scrubbed to keep it clean. It, it's gone too far. People are getting too big for their britches. There are sacred cows out there we're not supposed to touch. Things we're not supposed to talk about. And it's preposterous. Get back to yourselves. Put some sanity back in your life. Start breathing without your mask on and get some oxygen to your brain, people. I'm imploring you. This is getting desperate. You know, it's bad enough to put people in lockdown, supposedly for a virus, but now you're locking them down because you don't agree with them. You're censoring people. You're not allowing them to have their own minds and own thoughts about the election. They can't talk about it. You're not allowed to talk about it. You're not allowed to vote against an impeachment of a former president without people accusing you and, and, and your representatives or whoever these people are. I don't know. There are some people, 40, 43 people voted against the impeachment. So they're horrible, horrible, vile, horrible people. You know, it's not, it's okay when they spend trillions to enrich themselves and their buddies on war profiteering. It's okay to have a president, a former president out there hanging out there who brought us to war on lies, but we have to 
impeach a president because he had supposedly had inciting hateful rhetoric when he said peacefully go over to the Capitol. And, and, and so many other people have said the words fight. So many other politicians have, 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 you know, have urged us on to fight, fight, fight like this last summer. And people were encouraged to, to take to the streets and protest when they were doing things that were violent. And, and if you protested that, oh, you were a law and order type. Yeah, I am a law and order type. Just like everybody's supposed to be a law and order type now when it comes to the Capitol. Everybody's bouncing back and forth on what they believe depending on who said it. That's what I can't stand. Just try to use the golden rule. Would you like somebody on your side of the fence to say it? then let someone on the other side say it. If you want somebody to have free speech on one side of a fence, let the people on the other side have a fence. Better yet, try to take that frickin' fence down. I'm so sick of these fences turning into walls and mountains between people. It's unbelievable. It's sickness. Our country is seriously sick right now, and we need some help, and we need leadership. We need people saying, stop it, you know? Like that guy stopped the you know McCarthy hearings. Good God! At the end of it all, sir, people, do you have no decency? No sense of decency. You used to have it. You were. All of us went through kindergarten where we had to learn these things. It's time to apply it before we destroy the youth of our generation forever, which is happening. They're so confused. Those poor kids. Oh my God. Oh my God, this is how I feel. This is how I feel. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm emoting true feeling. I'm vulnerable here with you because I can't take it. And somebody has to start talking on this level. Might as well be me. Thank you for listening.